Hello everyone, let's continue our lesson. Today we will do one more door, uh, type of door. Let's open our previous door and let's make the copy of that. So save as family and let's make the other name like uh, door one full glass. Full glass option one maximum backups and OK and save. So as you see, we're now working on the other file of the family. It's door one full glass. For first, we're going to the front view our front view and the two things what we're gonna do we will delete the uh, our height and we will delete our width so after this just click and drag on the reference line just approximately because we will uh, type some parameter no worries about that and something like that Let's go to family types. To that, we will de just delete the V vision, I mean vision window height, just delete it, and vision width, delete that. Let's create new parameters. Oh, not this, this button. New parameter, it will be R bottom. One more r top and r sides let's put that on the on the bottom and side to some value to that so this will be like 500 millimeters this will be uh, 600 millimeters will change after that and again 500 millimeters 500 millimeters okay now let's do some simple things so we will use our align dimensions so di and from here to here click and here here click from these sides and delete this one we will create new one okay so what we're gonna do now we will change the label label this one as side it's too big 600 too big let's go to change the sides and let's make it like 100 millimeters it's quite enough yeah and let's give to them also sides for that one top and we have error but it's okay here he's saying like we already have one dimension as you see it's here so just we will delete that uh, okay let's uh, select this dimension again and uh, on the by ribbon uh, in the ribbon menu just change the label again to r top so like this and we'll change this one to r bottom like this let's fix it could say one it's like be uh, pretty high but uh, I want here mm, like 500 millimeters gap so on the top side let's make it like 200 I think will be enough let's try let's make to 150 yeah pretty cool let's leave like that now uh, we're done with this door uh, let's save it again. Just be sure you saved like uh, as a as a family L any name what you want, but I say it like door one full glass. Okay, let's close that. Close this first one, and let's open new family door door family. Mm, 
metric metric door it's here okay let's open it and first we're gonna do what we're gonna do we will delete the frame both and we will go to the family types and we'll delete the, some parameters from that that frame okay if you go to the the bottom you see as a parameter frame protection and uh, frame width we just straight away will delete that delete delete and again delete yes uh if you operation i think okay leave like that okay uh let's go to elevation exterior view and let's clean up these lines and this high oh no this high this high okay now now we can work and do now we're going to the floor plans reference level and let's go to load our oh no no not this button insert load the family and where's my doors mm, i think it's here repeat doors uh-huh here my door one and here my door two just hold the control key and choose two type of door and open up okay it's already inside our project we will go to create after that component and here we are here are doors or easily you can go to the family on the project browser generic the model and as you see here out models okay let's put somewhere here our doors that floor door and full floor door with glass like this get I did some wrong just delete one family and let's leave this one and uh, go to full family type let's create new parameter and let's use the share parameter no do now uh, now we should deselect and then he asking about you want to create new one yes I will create new one uh, what is that uh, the Revit will save uh, all parameters of our door in txt file and uh, if for example you are creating some some new style but uh, you, you want to use the same uh, parameters uh, of your door you just can uh, simply load it and don't write by hand all these parameters so let's create new one and uh, ways will be like it I think near is that and let's give the name like door type and let's save it save let's create new new group door let's doors this will be like doors and parameters door type door type now we should the change type type of parameter as we know the we have the family type and the Revit asking us family type of what uh, as you remember we started our project from the generic model so we will choose the generic model okay okay and now he allow to choose the this parameter so okay and again okay and now you are interesting why we do that parameter let's go to the 3d view our 3d view as you see we have the our door here so click on our door and change the label our door to door type generic model okay after that we're going to the family type and as you see we have the here the one new parameter door type so let's change it to full glass and apply I didn't do anything I can just change from here to what type of door I wanna use. Let's go to do other thing. We're going to elevation view, exterior view, and oh, we'll delete this one. He no one delete, and this one also don't want delete. How come? 
Okay, just change the remove, remove. And this one too here. Let's go to 3D view. She will check that. Shaded. Uh -huh. Okay. This is more bigger. Okay, good. Going to gain exterior view. Let's create some reference to line. I I mean plan. One here. One here. And one here. Let's extend it and we'll use again the eye align from here to here, here to here. And let's change the label from that. It will be weight and this will be height like this. Let's close it. We'll try to change from here to 2100. Something like that. When we're changing our align, our door not changing. So what are we gonna do? For example, let's make it 2200. And this one, uh, 1200. Let's apply, and as you see, this is not good. Mm, how I can change it? Let's make like this. Uh, we will create again new reference plane. One here, and one here. Uh, I will go to align, double time of escape. With align, okay, di. From here to here and to here. Now let's make it equal. And one more from here to here. Let's check it and make the width and lock it. Fine. Now we need align our door. Let's align it. This. A L from here to here. Okay, and lock it. Fine, but we have still problem when we changing the our parameters here. Our door still same. So what we gonna do? We just click on our door, edit type, and here the height. And let's check this uh, small bottom, and let's check this parameter. Okay, and same with with. And let's click on OK. As you see, when we're changing our parameters here, let's make it normal. Door changing, say, too. You know, same the thing with as uh, our door with flush door. Let's open up it and change it. As you see here, high. We're changing to high. With we changing to with, and let's uh, add the thickness. Okay. Okay, but uh, as you see, on this door we have the parameters: the R top, R side, R bottom, and we can't change inside this family mm, size of our window. So how to do that? Let's add some parameters. New. Okay, and R top, R top, uh, R side, R bottom. I think it's that's it. Uh, let's put it in the. In here and let's click on OK. Think for the fix that we're just going to the door and 
here are the top small bottom click on the small bottom and choose our top side side and of course bottom with bottom let's click ok and let's go again to add back to our family type and as you see we have here the parameters and let's change it for 100 I don't know the site uh, site oh we should to change the our door because it's not for the door let's change the, our door to the full of glass apply and as you see this is not totally right so uh, bottom it will be 500 side it will be 100 and top it will be 150 apply here we are we can change in this family parameters from that family what we're gonna do we change we should be at the same parameters for for floor door as you remember we have v uh, v window high and v window width so let's add it to this side uh, to this family let's create we window and one more mm, like this let's put it in the down on the I mean on the bottom let's apply it let's go inside as we see it's 1600 and 150 uh, this is height this is height can't make door why we height now let's change it right now one and 50 why let's go back again yes this was the problem and this one the width and high okay let's change our door again to back to our flush door yeah here we are we can change it. let's try it 300 apply yeah this working oh this is my problem like this uh, let's save our the project mm, let's save it and let's open up new mm, uh, new family Let's go to here, family. Let's choose the metric door. Let's open up it. And as we did in previous time, just delete what we need. I don't need the geometry. Uh, yeah, that's right. And going to family tab and let's delete everything except the framed width. Delete and this one also delete. And now let's add one more parameter the frame thickness and let's choose the other here other I mean the group parameter we want it will be near with the frame width okay here we are it's here uh, let's save it and as before we're going now to exterior view in Excel view, we just will delete uh, these lines. We don't need them. We will create a later on. Just delete the height. Okay. What we're gonna do now? Um, actually, we need to go to create and reference plan. Oh, sorry, not spline line. And create two lines here and two lines on the other side you can just select them and choose the mirror and mirror it sorry and mirror and mirror it yes here yeah, done this was wrong 
now we're going to align. Oh, not align. I mean the align dimension. And from from here to here, one. Here to here, second. And here, same. And here, one. Uh, now going back and again choose the reference line. One more reference line here. Go again choose the align dimension from this reference line to that. Here we are. Let's create this one. Uh, like 15 millimeters. Uh, here same. Just click on this reference line and change dimension 15 millimeters. What we're going oh I forgot one more line. Just go back and the reference line and put one more line here. Again, we need some dimension here. Like this, like this. Okay, just a couple of times keep. Uh, choose the reference line and let's make it also 15 millimeters. Okay, apply. Uh, I forgot the lock at everything, but it's okay. Uh, click on our dimension, lock it and click on this dimension and label ch choose the frame width ok good you know it's not will be fifth it's a bit thickness what we did uh, and lock it to go back to family type and let's change our the thickness to let's make 20 millimeters this will be enough like this and let's let's go to do everything in everywhere same here, uh, 20 millimeters. Okay, here, lock it. And again, here, lock it. And here, 20 millimeters. Uh, like this. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Everything, everywhere, same. We need one more parameter more. Uh, again, a line. And between all th these two lines, we need the parameter. So, here exactly our door I mean uh, between these two lines uh, click on this parameter label and now wait with uh, label dimensions da, 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 our sketch fix it so uh, just open un or just unlock that unlock this one and this one to unlock and let's try to fix this problem uh, let's make two from this line from, from to that. Let's put it here and make it equal. It's like this. 40, 60. This is not good. Let's change it. The thickness will be 10 millimeters. Okay. This, as we did, 15 millimeters 15 millimeters 15 millimeters mm, 35 35 yeah let's live like that it's more better we just need change the high just let's put it here and label change to high okay good let's go back to reference plane here Let's change to the height and more detail like this. Uh, create uh, reference plane <coughs> and let's make one plane here and one here. Uh, go to choose a line, one from to this line and other one to this line. Okay. And let's choose the label. Labels will be thickness, frame thickness, lock it, and again thickness, lock it. Good. Let's try to change the thickness to, for example, 15. Apply. Yeah, this is everything working. Nice. One more thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to create reference plane, one reference here. And one reference here again a line I mean uh, dimension dimension here and here I will choose both of them by control and uh, label I'll choose the 
width, 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 frame width. But it's too big because I did wrong. We're going ex uh, uh, again to exterior view and changing this one to the width. Yes. I changing this one to 900 and this one I'm changing to 3, uh, 3 uh, 30. Okay, okay. Let's go back to reference plane and as you see everything now okay. Oh, lock it, lock it, yeah. Everything like what I need. This is the thickness of our door. Just reference plane. One more here. A line from this side to this side. Okay. And let's change again label. And this is our thickness. But 100 is too much. Because it's around 50 only. Let's make the 50. Why? Yes, this is working. In this side will be our door. So mm, draw our door. I mean the frame. Go to exterior view, create and sweep. Now sketch path. Let's sketch it from here, 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 and here. It's now doesn't matter because I will use a line. So a line, and let's check it. Where is our frame? Our frame with this line, first line. So this and lock it. This, this lock it, and last one this and this and lock it. Okay, and now let's go to the floor plan. Draw a profile. Just edit profile and let's draw it. Something like. It's okay, now we will align everything. So with this one, align this and lock it. This one with this, lock it. This this lock it oh is this one escape and unlock this one uh, align with this lock it this one again align from the child to the parent Lock it. Yes, everything locks. And let's put one more locked here. And now let's add some new parameters from this one to this, and from this to this. No, from all of them. Okay, now I want this one will be maximum 15 millimeters and lock it. And this one, actually this unlock, from this to this, lock it, yes, it will be like this, oh no, 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 one more thing, lock it, and lock it, okay, apply, Apply that. Let's go to our 3D view. And this, as you see, we have our frame here. Let's put a change to shade it. Yeah, our our frame is here. Oh, let's save it. Like single frame. Frame. Uh, option one backup. Okay, okay, and let's load it up into our project. I will align it. Component single frame is here. 
let's put it somewhere here and let's align our door lock it and let's align our frame We need to go into exterior and change back. Change back this one. The parameters. So align, lock it, and this one too. Align, lock it, and again align. I think it's gonna work now. We're going to 3D. Yes, everything closed. And go to again to the floor plan. Choose our our first align. This reference line and this side and lock it. Escape a couple of time and going again to the 3D view. And now we just need the fix on the exterior view. Our door. Okay, align this and this, this and this, remove con constraint, remove and like this. Now for this one will be height and this one. Let's go to edit high and let's change the high here we are here our door let's put 3d yeah and we can actually the change type of inside our door to the glass for example or back to this one Thank you for watching guys, see you next time.